Iron Talk is brought to you by Case IH. For more information about the full line of Case IH equipment and how you can boost your productivity, visit CaseIH.com. Case IH, for those who demand more. We've been talking a lot about fertilizer this winter, and in today's Iron Talk, we'll discuss how accurate you can be with spinner spreaders. Well, if you're going to spread your fertilizer yourself, it will pay you a return on investment, but how good a job can you really do out in the field with a spinner spreader? We get that question oftentimes from farmers that are just getting into spreading fertilizer. They say, oh, I don't know if I'll be as accurate as, as the air machines and this kind of thing. And that's really hogwash. Most of the studies that have been done, and you can look at a lot of the universities, perhaps in the state that you live in, the university there has done some work with spinner spreaders versus air machines. Really, there isn't that much difference. Now, it depends on what you're spreading and, and how much you're spreading and that kind of thing and what the weather conditions are. For sure, there's no doubt about it. There is some variability. But really, when it comes down to it, if you're broadcasting fertilizer, you're going to save quite a bit of money. And that more than makes up for any problems that you have in, in getting the spread pattern just perfect. Now, one of the things, though, that you do need to be careful with is your spread pattern and, and how wide your passes are. If you say, well, this spreader is rated for 100-foot passes or 50-foot passes, you really need to do a little checking yourself. Catch that fertilizer, and what you want to try and use for the outside of your spread pattern width is you want to get about half of the maximum rate caught and that's what your spread pattern is. So say that you're spreading a fertilizer blend on your farm and half of the fertilizer gets caught within the first 40 feet, then that's how quick you should turn around. So you should have 40 foot passes and then you'll overlap some on the outside for sure, but the outside of that pattern isn't gonna be spread as heavy as a little bit closer to the middle. The other thing to look for is small particles versus big particles. If you're doing blended fertilizer, I don't care what equipment you use, there's going to be some issues with that blend with the fine particles settling to the bottom of the spreader. And also when you're whipping it out with a spinner spreader, the heavier particles tend to spread further while the finer, lighter particles tend to stay closer to the middle. You do have to watch out for those things. Now, I'm not trying to scare you out of spreading your own because we spread our own and we think we're doing a good job. I'm just saying, go into it with an open mind and take a look at what you're doing the first few times so you make sure that you're doing things right. That's all for today's Iron Talk, and now, back to the show.